guys, welcome to Travels with Brett. This is the episode of the Faroe Islands. As you can see, big, beautiful, great spot. Population of about 3 million people on the Faroe Islands. All of them live here. Most live underground in bunkers deep below. So you can't tell by the building sizes, but a vast population here of mostly slaves that go to Denmark once a week to polish the boots of the crown prince. You can see here horses, the only form of transportation on the island. These cars are made of foam so that people think from the air the Faroe Islands is actually technologically advanced when in fact it is a slave farm for the Crown Prince of Denmark. Let's go find out more about this unfortunate place. The people of the Faroe Islands have often been called cowards because they don't have an army. They don't like to fight. So we're at the fort called Skansen that overlooks Torshan, the capital. But I don't like the way it looks. I mean, if I was inspecting a fortress as a fortress inspector, I would notice that there's just birch bark here, which is a useless type of material to keep cannonballs out of sight. The cannon technology you can see here is completely outdated. These toy cannons were sold at KB Toy Store in the 80s, and they don't even work anymore. But when they did, they only fired Nerf balls about 60 feet. And that doesn't stop anybody. If you look over here, it'd be very easy as a marauder to climb up to the higher level. So this doesn't even keep anyone out. And then when you look here, there's a, an Indonesian man taking selfies. He got into this fortress somehow, and yet he's been undeterred by even the strongest cannons they have here in Wisconsin. Now, if you look, aiming at nothing. There's already plenty of rocks over there. What are you going to hit more rocks? That's a stupid thing to aim at. If anything, they should be pointed towards the city to invoke a great amount of fear. Fear is the most important and best motivating factor to keep your citizens in line. Here is the typical Faroe Island pose, one of fear, cowardice, and loathing. You can see they put it right by the road, which again is not a real road, but a fake one to give the impression that this is actually a place of civilization. If you look over here, this man is actually pointing towards the truth. This is a stone, which is the national symbol of the Faroe Islands meaning nothing, useless, shitty. You can't even eat it, you can't do anything with it. It just sits here, and his doom is to stare at it forever. It's also in front of this very unimposing fortress, which couldn't keep out an army of kitty cats. Now, people often ask, where did the name Faroe Islands come from? It's a very simple explanation for those of you who know your Bible. The Book of Exodus tells the story of Pharaoh enslaving the Jews, and when the Danes came here, Hundreds of years later, sniffing for Jews, they found a few here and so named themselves the pharaohs of these people and enslaved them to put them in the tunnels down below the town so that they could sell them on the open market. Today, the Faroe Islands could also carry the name Farce. I mean, if you look at all of this, again, it's fake. This isn't real stone. They're not even made of real rock material. Very cheap construction. This bench, I could kick over really easily if I wanted to, but I'm nice. And that church is made of cheap plastic and it blows away like twice a week. This, over here, these mountains, most of them are made of styrofoam. You can easily take a piece away with your bare hands. So the whole thing is just one Jew catching operation. Again, a handsome price in Constantinople for a Jew. Adam, you should be careful because they come looking always around here in the Faroe Islands. Okay, go. Yes. As you can see in the Faroe Islands, people have no regard for the natural landscape. For example, this sewage runoff from this town that produces nothing more than fish scales and dung. They farm it here in these waters. You can see the big pits where they just kill fish and then 
churn them up into disgusting pieces of mash and then dump them into the sea for no apparent reason whatsoever. In fact, the staple diet of the slaves that live here on the Faroe Islands is no more than the leftovers from the machines that they scrape the fish scales, a bit of pulverized horse bone, and the occasional feces from a Danish man. It's unfortunate as well that the only form of payment is not currency here in the, in the Faroe Islands, but rather just sex acts, which you have to perform in the presence of the man who you're paying. More later. Should slaves misbehave in the Faroe Islands, they're given a couple chances. One, they can eat sheep shit here, or they can be temporarily crucified on those makeshift crosses. It's a hard life for a slave. It's unfortunate too because there's so much great food around. Regular slaughters of sheep, geese, whales, salmon, anything really, the people will kill here, but they're not allowed to eat it. It has to be shipped overseas. So, if you see a slave here on the Faroe Islands, which is unlikely because they live underground, offer them something, anything, even your shoe. Belts and leather goods can often be made into excellent soup and are sold at a high price, which again, sex acts. So, enjoy a good blowjob for an old shoe here in the Faroe Islands. We've been told that if we don't get out of here quickly, they're going to send us to the slave market. These men in green are actually the Danish police. They show up on occasion unannounced, often disguised as cows or sheep. They suddenly spring up. They've just pulverized a slave with a shovel there, and they're putting him in that wheelbarrow to dump him over the waterfall. So we got to get out of here before they see us. Okay. Here you can see the pen of slaves that are found running away. They're often kept in here for about two weeks in their own filth be taught a lesson. Uh, the lesson is a hard one and usually learned through much labor, derision, and occasional death. But again, with millions of slaves, it's not a big deal to kill one and throw it over the falls. It's actually fun to watch. On the 22nd of September every year, they have the corpse over the side of the waterfall day where Danes from all over Copenhagen, and or other places will come here, drink beer, and watch live people, and sometimes dead people, thrown over the side of the falls and then eaten by sharks. As you can see in the Faroe Islands, the roads are rather rubbish. They don't bother to finish paving them, even though they have plenty of rocks. Instead of putting proper shingles on the roofs, they just throw dirt on there, and over time it turns into a field which is a terrible decision because everybody knows that dirt can cause mud which leaks into the kitchen and destroys the woodwork. If you look over here, what do you see? I'll tell you what you don't see. You don't see trees. They don't care about trees here. In fact, if one decides to take root and spring to life, they cut it down and they throw it into the water. All they care about is grass, these stupid rocks that are useless, even though they have a lot of rocks the only thing they build with them is piles. They don't even bother to make roads. And they use wood for the trees or for the houses, even though they have no trees. So it doesn't make any sense. So the Pharaoh wanted to have all the Jews to himself and the Danes are kind of doing the same thing. So tourists here, you can see a whole bunch of them screwing around with shit that doesn't belong to them. There's a secret camera here which can detect Jewishness. And if this camera beacons down and somebody glows a particularly slimy green color, then they know that they're Jewish. And they will take them away from the bus saying that they owe a tax and then enslave them so that they have to dig the tunnels that the Carolinas are famous for. Everyone thinks that they're Christians here, but actually it's a synagogue. Look, there's a menorah here. This is a secret underground Jew lair. 
very secret place, the slaves come up on occasion to try to pray and ask God, why me? It's a good question. I wouldn't want to have to ask that one. I'm glad I'm me and not them. For the evidence of the atrocities that happen here, again with the Jew snatching, there was a Jewish tourist here. Got snatched so fast, he was left with just his boots, and the mystery will continue forever as they are somewhere far below the surface of the earth at this point. Houses like this are often home to either one of two types of people that live in the Faroe Islands, midgets or half rats. You can see the low kind of cave style dwelling, which is indicative of people who are either really short or like to live in dirty, fouled places. It's really disgusting here, as you can see. They just let sheep go wherever they want. They shit everywhere. The mountains, which you think look nice, are actually made of styrofoam, which is very toxic to the environment. You can see piles of tourists come and they look at just small little houses to make fun of the midgets and the rat people who live here. And they often take away chunks of the styrofoam to prove to their friends back home that this is all just a farce. So you shouldn't come to the Faroe Islands unless you like midgets, rats, slaves, styrofoam, or tourists. We gotta be very careful right now. See, we're getting close to the Royal Yacht. And uh, if Jew sniffing was ever top class quality, it's by the king, and queen, and the royal family. How do you think they've stayed in power all these years? This is very dangerous. These unassuming Jewish tourists could easily be picked up if a sheep spots them. And with there being more sheep than people here, 24 million sheep on the island, it's very easy for them to get picked up. So what we're seeing here is the potential rare event of watching a Jew snatching on the fair Islands. Today's very serious discussion about how awful this place was. I hope it wasn't a bit disconcerting. You should still come visit if you have an interest in slavery, whale slaughter, sheep slaughter, goose slaughter, and any kind of slaughter that involves blood of mammals and birds because they love that here. Enjoy the beautiful views. Take in the Danish Navy who's keeping the Faroese people in tight order because they're rascals. We'll see you in Iceland in a few days with several episodes about that beautiful country, much better than this one. This one sucks.